Hey everyone, this is Phil from the No Guts No Galaxy podcast. Today I'm going to bring to you Mech Commander Gold Action. Specifically, I'm going to go through the original campaign and then later on we'll tackle in the uh, expansion campaign. So let's go dive in here. Command interface initiate. Incoming transmission. Davian guards, our first battalion is on planet. We caught the smoke jaguar off guard, but just barely. They were able to activate the planet's orbital guns and caught the dropship York before she landed. We have lost all contact, so assume X-Ray Company is out of the picture. Yankee and Zulu Companies, you'll pick up the slack as well as any survivors and equipment that can be used. While those guns keep us pinned down, support will be limited, so salvage is a priority. Davians, make no mistake. Despite the loss of X-Ray Company, our battle plan is intact. We will take this planet back. I'm downloading your mission briefings. Move to destroy the designated clan targets and we'll gain a beachhead before they can react. The Italian will make special equipment available as required. And there you have it. I love those little, you know, um, just mission briefings. They they add so much. And of course, Mech Commander is just, it's just one of those things that I love. I, I would say it's probably my favorite game in the Battletech Mech Warrior series. Uh, yes, I know Mech, Mech Warrior 2 is amazing. But it's just something to it. Um, obviously, this is the first mission. Uh, I've only got a uh, very limited RP, so basically money, C bills. Um, and I have three mechs with mech warriors. There's really nothing I can purchase. Uh, the mech bay is very, very limited. They change things. It's, it's not like uh, how we're used to in mech warrior with, uh, you know, when you add a weapon, they basically got a payload weapons way. As you can see, they, you know, load value 3.0 and stuff like that. So very limited it's different this is the you beast. Can drop mech warriors in and out uh, those mech warriors have gunnery piloting jumping and sensor skills and obviously rank goes up you know they go from you know green to regular to vet to elite this is the beast so let's go ahead okay and, sir you uh, got it well let's drop into this first mission another thing to note is under your mission briefing it gives you your objectives I have three. It tells you any supporting information like already. And then you have a drop weight limit. Uh, and the current drop weight limit is 85 tons, and I'm at 80, so I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and roll out. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. Uh-oh. Alright, so here we go. For all of you uh, Mech Commander fans, well, this may be a little bit nostalgic. I love this game. I've spent literally hundreds of hours, and well, here we are again in the midst of it. Uh, i got a few things for you. Uh, if you've never played this game, Mech Commander is obviously a top-down isometric sort of uh, uh, game, I would say. It's one of my favorites in the Battletech Mech Warrior, um, you know, list of uh, titles. I, it's just something about the I don't know, logistics and just the fun and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways... What we've got here is we've got three objectives we're going to roll through. Uh, one, two, and three. We can see what those are right here. And right now what I'm doing is, well, I know a lot of the little ways to go through a mission. You don't have to go through them in order. You can engage them in different, you know, whatever your style is. Um, so anyways, we're going to take a look at a few things. Uh, we've got three mechs. We've got a Commando A, Commando W, and a Firestarter W. Now. In Mech Commander, you basically have three types of each chassis, A, W, and J. Uh, a W has more of payload as far as how much they can fit as weaponry, um, whereas they have less armor than a A version. So this Commando A actually has more armor, um, but you can see instead of having, uh, it's got four SRAM and a laser, this other one has two SRAM, a streak SRAM, and two lasers. Um, and that's basically how it works. Each weapon does have ammo, so it is dependent. And obviously, we can uh, select all of them. We can zoom in here. You can see all the little details. This is sprite-based, which is amazing. I loved it back then. Pretty much running on anything. Let's go ahead and capture this uh, container stack. Now, when you do that, obviously, you can see I just captured two LRMs. Well, let's move on. You can minimize it. I do know this map pretty well, so... Let's just do that so you guys can see a little bit more. The commandos are faster than the fire starter, even though they're the same, um, you know, light chassis. They're actually each chassis is independently, you know, different. So that's actually really cool, um, you know. So, all right. So here we go. 
I do know I'm going up for the next objective, and I know what's awaiting me. So let's go ahead and dive in here. This is the beast. Uh -oh. New contact. It is a Kit Fox, a clan mech. Now mind you, this all takes place in uh, attacking the smoke jaguars. So I'm going to get in here close range with these guys while my fire starter comes in with that heavy PPC as well. Alright, so I'm going to keep sort of directing where he's going. You can see I can sort of micromanage here. I can see how much damage he has by uh, viewing this. Now, he's almost dead, so if I want to try to salvage him, i got to be careful. I don't want to do too much damage to him. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Are we going to get lucky? All right, he's internal on a CT, so i got to be careful. Too big of a hit might uh, destroy him. Let's see. Come on, laser. Eject. Eject, you damn clanner. No! <laughs> and I totally just, you know, hey, spin of the dice, didn't get that one. So it is what it is sometimes. I love those little death animations. One of my favorite on Mech Commander is when uh, someone takes like a cockpit shot and it's just this crunch and they don't eject and you're like, oh yeah, it just happened. Uh, so. It is what it is. Let's see my damage to my guys. Uh, as you can see, I've taken a little bit of rear and frontal damage with my Commando A. And Beast actually took a headshot. Um, well, so did Hunter. You'll notice that their health bar is down. Um, if you, they get down to one health bar and you eject, each time you eject is an automatic one hit. And they'll die and they'll be like, ah, you know, and it's like, oh, shit, I just lost like my best. I've had it happen. But anyways. Back on the mission, we've got to kill this uh, HQ. So let's go do that real quick. I love how the mechs just sort of lock on and you can tell them to engage at short range, medium range, and long range. Uh, you can also press A so they only shoot energy-based weapons. I find that really useful because ballistic weapons tend to do like, um, especially when a mech gets down, really though, PPCs aren't the best. Uh, lasers uh, do the best at uh, any of those uh, good kills and salvage opportunities. So we've got two more objectives, uh -oh. and again, I'm not doing these in order. Um, you don't have to. It's really up to you. Now, Mech Commander has these for us. You can actually engage them, so let's go do that. You can start a fire. You can shoot multiple areas, and that'll rage on and take care of stuff. You can always hit backspace to cancel the order. And let's go ahead and get involved. Let's take out this Commando A. Now, I don't want him going after my Commando that's already damaged. So, let's check him out. Now you can move him around. He's engaging, so let's move in my guys. Let's see if uh doesn't pay me attention. You know, in this commando, basically what you're trying to do is just minimize as much damage as you can to your mechs. And uh, again, our pilots are very green, regular even on a few, so they're going to miss a bit. It's okay. Here we go. Should be the last of the end. He ejected. Well, yeah, and well, blew the crap out of them. So, sometimes you, well, you don't get what you want. No salvage today. All right, just gonna cut through here real quick. Oh, it's not letting me. Why doesn't let me? Let's kill this. No problem, sir. You can see forest fighters start start, and actually, there's a few missions later on that that comes actually very very useful. You can make your own uh, paths and ways and go around it. And again, this is just one of those games that I love. Uh, you can actually follow by left clicking on a picture, follow one of your mechs, and I remember just sort of you know enjoying just all the little details. And wow, it's awesome. There's just something about it. Hopefully you guys feel the same way. You can even like hit this flag over. Look at that. I mean, that's that's just cool. 
We'll destroy this garrison building and this objective will be taken care of. Mission objective complete. Done, destroy that. Take care of this armored APC. Looks like a Humvee. That's what it is, pretty much. It's funny, there's little dudes that come out of it. You can even shoot them, step on them. So, like, he thinks he got away and kill him. Yeah, I know. Cynical. Sorry. You're a bunch of smoke jaguars, you know. Remember Turtle, Turtle Bay. So, that's my excuse for leaving no surrenders. No surrender. No prisoners. Alright, so the last thing we gotta do is just clean up a few vehicles. We don't have to. We can just blitz it and go right to the mission. But, uh... One, I like to get them a few more kills. May not be much, but soon as they level up, the better for me. So Lynx is pretty effective with that PPC. You can see PPCs aren't direct fire weapons. They, When they get a hit, all weapons track, even if it, they're not supposed to, like a Gauss rifle or PPC, uh, SRMs. They don't hold the same sort of value of you know, what they mean in most mech warrior games. Oh, smoke Jaguar, kill him. Smoke Jaguar, kill him. Another one. He's trying to get away. Oh, with a PPC. That's vicious. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, last thing we got to do is destroy this uh, natural gas depot. So let's get a shot on this uh, truck here and it'll, well, don't want to be too close to it when it explodes. You can press space to basically uh, let your guys run. And just clicking will make them walk. Obviously, you don't want to get too close to um, stuff that blows up. You'll see. And kill this camp headquarters real quick. And that's it. Alright, you can see how many RP, basically C, C bills you've earned. You can see each kill. Um, Beast didn't get many kills, so he didn't get any gunnery. So that's, you know, it's one of those things. So you can see that they did go up. Um, sensors, if you detect things, uh, obviously um, Beast and Hunter detected stuff. Lynx didn't it because he was usually lagging behind. But they all ran the same amount, so you can see that went up. Oh wow, I did salvage an, uh, the kit fox. It said I didn't, but well, sometimes you get lucky. And there you have it. You can see all the bonuses and all that fun stuff. So, well guys, this was the first mission and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll bring you the next mission and missions to come for the Mech Commander Gold. Until next time, Mech Warriors. Five, the Outreach Studios around the world.